and welcome back to a Vintage Vanity in the So So Vintage series. Guess who forgot to film an intro and an outro? Yeah, that's right, me. So part three is going to be all about making darts and also cutting out our piping on the bias and stitching it onto the apron. It's gonna look fabulous. Let's just open up our apron. Right where the very first dart is, right up at the top, we are just going to pinch the fabric. And we're gonna pinch, 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 till we have it pinched up a little bit. And we're gonna pin it on the side where the side of the apron is. Because with darts, you always wanna sew from the top all the way down. So you wanna think about what side you're pinning on so when you get to the machine, your pins are on the proper side of the dart. And then I'm gonna come over here to the other dart and I'm gonna pinch that up as well and pin it. I'm gonna go to the last dart, pinch as well. Now these darts are not in a straight line, so it will get a little puckery. And we're gonna fix that in just a moment. We're just kind of setting our darts at this point. <clears throat> so the darts are done. I'm gonna flip my fabric this way now what I want to do is I want, while it's pinned, to smooth out the fabric. Because so I want to make sure between each dart there's no puckering. And as you can see right here, there's a little bit of puckering there. So I am going to work that fabric so it lays straight. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place an additional pin between each of the darts just to keep that fabric laying nice and straight. So there we go, that is our darts all pinned and ready to sew. And then we're just gonna turn this over the other way, the andre way. And we are gonna do the same exact thing. Pinch the darts, pin them, and then we're gonna do that to the lining as well. So for our darts, we're gonna start up at the top dart and you want to start it right at the edge of the fabric. So you're going to manually turn your wheel until it pierces just the edge. Now you don't want to do any back stitching at all. So you're just going to stitch forward. We're going to manually tie off our knots and that's so it doesn't get bumpy. And then you want to begin stitching. You're going to curve up and around because we want this to be about an eighth of an inch basically just inside the edge of the foot there um, so you're just going to kind of turn your fabric and then stitch down you want to make sure that you're keeping your fabric nice and smooth as you go and that you're pulling the pins out before you reach them and I'm using a black thread for this so you just want to make sure you're using a thread that um, coordinates with the type of fabric you have. Now we're approaching our last dart, which is right down here. So as you sew, you just wanna slow down and start to curve towards that dart so that you stitch essentially right off the fabric. And then all I do to tie it off is I take the two threads and I just tie it off just like you would and you were tying your shoes. And I do that about three or four times. And then you have this really nice seam on the apron right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side of the apron and we're going to do that to the lining as well. Now if you use a different type of fabric for your lining, make sure you change out your thread so that it matches the fabric of your lining. All right, now that both our darts have been sewn in, we are actually going to iron them. And your darts are going to be ironed in to the center. So you just wanna just iron right over those darts. We're gonna be using our accent fabric for three different pieces. We're gonna use it for the pocket piping, the bias strip piping, and the waist ties. The pocket piping, we only need one of them. So I'm gonna lay that to the side for now. So we're going to lay out our fabric cut edge to cut edge. We're gonna take our bias strip for piping. And all this uh, bias means is that you want it to have stretch. And the way you get stretch on fabric 
is by cutting it on an angle. I'm going to bring it just about to the edge and then our waist tie. Now I am going to use my fabric scissors and I am going to trim right around my pattern. Just makes it easier for me to cut it out. And I'm going to use my rotary cutter and cut this out. Now using our extra bit of fabric, I will put down my pocket piping, cut that out as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bias piping and we are going to stitch the two pieces together and you can tell with the bias, see that stretch, that's what you get by going on the angle. Alright, so real quick what we're going to do is with the right sides together, we are going to give it a stitch at about half an inch in and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to take our um, pinking shears and we're just going to cut right along the top. That way that will help with fraying in the future. Now that we have our long bias strip, we are going to fold this in half wrong sides together. And then I just place in a couple pins to keep it folded in half like that since it's such a long strip. And then we're going to take it to the iron and we're going to press that so it's a nice sharp edge. Now you are going to take the body of your apron and we are going to place the bias strip that we just pressed um, raw edge, so cut edge to cut edge. And I suggest pinning it as high as you can on um, as far away from the cut edge as possible because we're going to be stitching real close to that edge. Now I place the center mark which is easy to find because that's the place where we stitch the two pieces together and I try to get it right about center of the dress or the, the apron. And then you just want to match up your edges and that um, fabric being cut on the bias is really going to help us to um, make it around these corners. So instead of bringing it all the way to the edge of the fabric up here, we want about three-eighths away from the top of the fabric. We want the piping to curve off. So I'm just holding that my ruler where three-eighths is and I'm curving the piping right off the fabric so I know where that is. And you're going to do that on both edges. So we're going to stitch as close to that raw edge as we can. So the first little stitch is going to be the hardest because that's the one that's kind of going off the edge. Stitching straight down. And the closer you can stay to the edge, the better. And by having those pins away on the outside here, it allows us to keep the pins in while we stitch. So I'm going to continue to do that all the way around to the other edge. I'm just removing the pins from the fabric. Okay, so you know those funky ends that we had left over from the bias piping? What you're going to do is you're going to take your fabric scissors and you are just going to trim that piping to be even with the fabric on the back. So it should now look like so it should now look like this. And now our apron looks like this with the little trim on the bottom. So fancy. So that is it for part three of So So Vintage. I hope you all enjoy. Next week we are going to get into the ruffle. And as always, please click that yellow subscribe button if you haven't already. And feel free to check out last week's vlog or hair tutorial. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.